Hey folks and welcome to this weekly update of Azure News from myself, Sarah Lean. Now this episode was recorded on the 20th of September 2024. So Azure NetApp Files now offers a reserved capacity option, allowing you to commit to a one-year or a three-year term and potentially saving up to 34%. Now this option is available in increments of 100 terabytes and one petabyte across standard, premium and ultra service levels, providing both cost savings and financial predictability. Any additional usage beyond the reserved capacity is billed at the regular pay-as-you-go rate. Now, another generally available announcement is Azure now supports the forced detachment of ZRS or Zone Redundant Storage data disks from virtual machines or virtual machine scale sets in zones impacted by failures, allowing you to attach these disks to another virtual machine and reduce recovery time. This feature is not supported for ZRS operating system disks. So ZRS storage synchronously replicates managed disks across three availability zones, offering 12 nines of durability annually and is available on premium and standard SSDs. On September the 15th, 2027, Azure will retire the automated patching feature and replace it with Azure Update Manager. This new tool offers centralised update management, customisable schedules and detailed patch compliance reports, streamlining the update process for virtual machines, on-prem servers or hybrid environments. The Azure Databot 80 terabyte SKU is now available in Azure China. This offline data transfer solution allows customers to quickly and securely transfer petabytes of data to or from Azure storage using proprietary storage devices. Customers in China can order the device for data import or export in any Azure China region. Azure AI Vision is retiring several services. So Image Analysis 4.0, Custom Image Classification, Custom Object Detection, Product Recognition, Segment Background Removal Preview APIs are all being retired on January the 10th, 2025. And Spatial Analysis Edge Container is being retired on March 30th, 2025. So to avoid service interruptions, transition to the Azure AI Custom Image for your image classifications and object detections by January the 10th. 2025. Also being retired is the Azure SQL Edge product, allowing the Azure platform to focus and enhance other services. So customers are advised to migrate to one of the following options. So using SQL Server Express Edition for workloads that fit within those resource limits, SQL Server Standard Edition for those more extensive applications, or even looking at SQL Managed Instance enabled by Azure Arc for managed service with high compatibility and reduced management overhead. Another service being retired on September 20th, 2025 is the Microsoft Purview data sharing service. So users can transition their data sharing workloads to Microsoft Fabric, which offers external data sharing capabilities to be able to continue using this feature. SQL Insights, the preview edition, will also be retired on December 31st, 2024. So that's coming up very soon, folks. Users be encouraged to switch to Data Watcher for Azure SQL or another monitoring solution. After the retirement date, SQL Insights will no longer be supported or available in the Azure portal, but existing monitoring data will remain in your Log Analytics workspace. So an Azure Public Preview service is the Azure Monitor Metrics export configurable through Data Collection Rules or DCR, allowing you to route metric data to Azure Storage Accounts, Event Hubs and Log Analytics workspace across 18 resource types and 10 Azure Public Regions. Key features of this public preview feature is being able to scale your metric collection across subscriptions, flexible filtering of collected metrics for for cost control and improved export latency for full fidelity and dimensional information, enhancing ease of data correlation. Thanks for tuning in, folks. And please don't forget to leave me a review, share this podcast and subscribe on whatever platform you're listening on. And I'll see you all again soon.